Okay, good afternoon. In this video, we're going to be talking about how I go about downloading my Robinhood transactions onto an Excel CSV file onto my computer. Let me lay the groundwork here and say that there's no way that I know of to do this officially through Robinhood. There's no button that we can click to uh, download that, those transactions as of January 2022. So we're going to have to be installing a couple things on our computer and doing this through Robin Stocks. I'm going to recommend that you, as far as downloading these things, you go out and research. I did it through Google and YouTube, how to download these things. I'm going to give you an overview of what you need to download, but then as far as getting the right thing for your computer, I'm going to recommend you go uh, to a different authoritative source. Let me also say that uh, this involves a certain amount of risk. You're telling your computer, uh, giving it certain commands, so please make sure that you are understanding what you're telling your computer before you do it. Um, you're doing this at your own risk. All right, so let's get started. Come down here to open up a new browser, Microsoft Edge. <clears throat> Okay, so first thing we're going to need is pip install. So I'm going to Google that. I'll click on the, the pip.pypa.io. And that's going to have instructions in here as far as how to download that to your computer. Once we have, have that installed, this is like installing the installer. Okay, and so now we need to download two things. First thing we're going to download is Robin Stocks. I'm going to come here. Robinstocks.readthedocs.io and click on installing. A button right there to take us to the same page on the left side. And so this has the instructions on how to do that. And if I were to do this onto my computer, I would go down here and type in terminal or command prompt. Open that up. This is the area where we're telling our computer uh, directly what to download. And then we would type in pip install Robin stocks, hit enter. And you can see because I've already downloaded this, it's told me already satisfied, but if it wasn't, it would download all those documents. And then the final thing we need is the Python coding language. So uh, you might need this before you do Robin stocks. We're gonna come up here, Google Python. Uh, we're gonna click on downloads. They're gonna have uh, all the stuff you need. They got for Mac, Windows. Um, so lots of instructions here as far as what to download. You can click on the button and download that to your computer. All right, once you've gotten all that downloaded, we're gonna come back here to the main desktop page. We're gonna right click, come down to new. We're gonna do a new text document. We're going to open up that text document and then we're going to paste in some code and I'm going to leave that in the uh, description below. I'll paste this in to this document. Now your email is going to go here and your password is going to go here. I've not put that in there so I'm going to have to put mine in before I run it. After we've done that, oh, let me. This will be updated in the code below, but we're going to change this to just a period inside of these um, quotation marks, and that's going to download it to the desktop. So we're going to save this. Right, save that, and we're going to come right click again on this document. We're going to rename. We're going to erase the TXT at the end of it to PY. Give us this. We're going to click OK. At this point, um, we will have already changed our email and our password. So I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to put mine in, and then we'll be back. OK, so we're back. And now I've gotten my information in there. So now we've changed this to a Python command document, I guess. 
So we're going to click two times with the left mouse to run the code. And it's going to open up this terminal. It's going to tell you to enter the code. And at the same time, it should send a code to your phone. And so we're going to type in the code that's delivered to our phone. And now it's beginning the download process. Okay, so I'm downloading stock, downloading options, and I'm downloading crypto. I see that the stock is downloaded here, and the options is downloaded there. The crypto takes a little while, typically. Let's open up the stocks, though, and look at what the output is. So this is the output, and I have videos on my channel talking about how to format the options document, and uh, very similar to the stock document as well. But you're going to get this in a CSV. It looks like that. And looks like we're still waiting on the crypto. There it is right there. All right, so there we go. So we've gotten all that downloaded, and it uh, should be good to go.